They say we humans adapt to anything. Like roaches in a fallout zone, Corporal Hayes grunted, staring down at the rows of curious alien eyes in the med bay. Guess now I'm proof. Beeps of medical scanners and hushed alien whispers. Hayes, a stocky, middle-aged soldier from Earth, pulled his shirt back over his wound, a small red puncture surrounded by faint swelling. Commander Rax, his commanding officer from the Exterian Confederation, looked at the wound. Just minutes ago, a native Zarkian snake had bitten Hayes, and by all calculations, he should be on the floor, lifeless. Yet, Hayes was still standing, tapping his boot impatiently. You're not dead? Commander Rax asked, his spiked brow furrowing. Nah, just a bit tingly. Hayes grinned, shrugging off the tension. Feels like a mild hangover, to be honest. Nothing a quick patch-up can't fix. Got a bandage? The med bay staff exchanged uneasy glances. Dr. Firen, the head of the alien medical team, approached cautiously, his blue skin darkening as he scanned the wound. Zarkian venom, known for its rapid systemic paralysis, was universally feared for its swift lethality. This human, however, looked more annoyed than concerned. Corporal Hayes, that venom is designed to disintegrate muscle tissue within minutes. You should be incapacitated. If not worse, Dr. Firen stammered, studying Hayes with morbid fascination. Hayes waved it off, chuckling. Doctor, back on Earth, we've got critters that make Zarkian venom look like flavored water. Scorpions, snakes, jellyfish, that'll make your nerves dance the tango. Think a sting like this is gonna lay me out. The alien officers exchanged glances. Curious murmurs spread throughout the med bay as alien medics huddled around monitors, showing Hayes' vitals. To their astonishment, the venom in Hayes' bloodstream was breaking down, not through any antidote, but by his own immune system. Curious, Firen ordered a full blood scan to confirm the anomaly. Corporal Hayes, Rax began, trying to mask his amazement. Your body is neutralizing the venom. We've never seen this kind of response. Neutralizing. My immune system's probably just showing off. Hayes raised an eyebrow as the medics fumbled over his blood samples. Look, I'm no doctor, but Earth's kinda like a gauntlet for anyone who grows up there. Snakes, poison ivy, bees. Maybe my blood's just tough. Rack studied Hayes, a spark of admiration flashing in his eyes. And this adaptability, does it apply to all humans? Depends. Back home, we got folks who can wrestle a crocodile, some who pass out at a spider. I might be lucky. Or maybe Earth's wild enough that our bodies just get used to shrugging off nastiness. He scratched his chin thoughtfully. Or, you know, maybe it's all the coffee. At this, several of the medics blinked, trying to make sense of the word coffee as it translated in their headsets. Dr. Firen turned to his team, issuing orders in a language full of clicks and whistles, directing them to study the venom's breakdown in Hayes' blood. You don't mind if we run more tests, Corporal Hayes, Firen asked, his eyes gleaming with a mix of professional curiosity and awe. Long as you don't skimp on the snacks, Hayes grinned. You got those premium rations. Yeah, I'm talking the real gourmet stuff. Rax nodded. We'll make sure you're well-supplied, Corporal. I think you've earned it. As Hayes kicked back in the examination chair, munching on an alien ration bar that tasted faintly of charcoal and lime, the medics hovered over their monitors. Unbeknownst to him, the venom still lingered in his blood. Its molecular structure subtly altered, as though interacting with his immune cells on a genetic level. Rax leaned closer to Firen. What are you seeing, doctor? Firen adjusted his goggles, leaning forward with intense focus. It's as if his immune system isn't just breaking down the venom. It's adapting. Some remnants of the venom remain, almost merging with his cells, 
This reaction, it's something we haven't seen before. Hayes, overhearing, raised an eyebrow. So my blood's not only beating up the venom, it's keeping souvenirs. Fyra nodded, perplexed yet intrigued. Yes, Corporal, you may be developing an immunity. Or perhaps something else entirely. Neat, Hayes shrugged, taking another bite. The alien medics watched him with a mixture of admiration and unease. Rax's face hardened, his mind racing through the implications. Humanity, with their strange immune responses and quick adaptability, was proving to be more than he'd anticipated. Hayes, he was the strangest of them all. Tell me, Corporal, Rax began cautiously, if this adaptability of yours can be harnessed. Would it be something you'd share with our people, perhaps for future deployments or defensive measures? Hayes looked at him, mouth full, eyebrows raised. Look, I can't make any promises, Commander. My blood's a mystery even to me. But hey, if it keeps us alive out there, I'm all for it. He chewed thoughtfully. Though, it's not exactly a one-size. Fits. All trick, you know? Some of you guys might get weird side effects. Rax nodded, contemplating. Humans as allies could be invaluable. As enemies, they'd be a nightmare. Dr. Firen looked up from the readings. For now, let's observe. See if there are any more changes. Corporal, you'll need to report any unusual symptoms. This process could be unpredictable. Hayes smirked. Doc, my life's been unpredictable since I stepped foot on this ship. Let's see where this ride takes us. With a final chuckle, he gave the medbay a lazy salute and sauntered out, leaving a room full of astonished aliens, pondering the peculiar resilience of humanity. If humans are one thing, we're stubborn. Hayes said to no one in particular, pacing back and forth in the medbay, you think we'd just give up if something bites back? He glanced around, noting the alien scientists busy with his blood samples, clearly uncomfortable with his body's peculiar response to the venom. Dr. Firen, standing at the main terminal, exchanged worried glances with Commander Rax, who looked more intrigued than alarmed. They'd already poked him with all sorts of scanners, ran enough blood tests to drain a weaker man dry, and fed him enough questions to fill a textbook. Commander Rax finally spoke up. Corporal Hayes, the venom in your system, it hasn't fully disappeared. It's evolving. Hayes rolled his eyes, looking at the overhead lights with a mixture of amusement and exasperation. Doc, evolving is what you say about robots. This is just good old Earth biology doing its thing. Dr. Firen leaned forward. But the venom is altering your cells, Corporal. The residue has integrated into your immune system, forming new pathways. I've never seen anything like it. Let me guess. Alien science just can't keep up with Earth nonsense, huh? Hayes smirked, though he felt a strange warmth creeping up his neck. Sure, he'd shrugged off the bite, but the idea of venom hanging around in his body was unsettling. Rax looked at Firen, then back at Hayes. Corporal, have you noticed any changes? Unusual feelings? Besides the fact that I'm apparently an alien science project, Hayes grinned. But then he paused, scratching the back of his neck. Well, actually might be nothing. But I've been feeling kinda amped, more than usual. Dr. Firen's eyes widened. Corporal, we need to monitor you more closely. If your body is adapting the venom as a type of energy source, it could mean... Hold on a sec. Hayes interrupted, a chuckle escaping his lips. Are you saying I'm like some kind of rechargeable battery now? What am I? A walking generator? Rax frowned, though a faint smirk tugged at the corner of his mouth. It could mean exactly that, Corporal. Or more. At that moment, the door hissed open. And in stepped a tall, gaunt figure, a Zarkian officer with deep-set eyes and angular features. He regarded Hayes with thinly veiled suspicion. So, 
This is the human who defied the venom of our land's deadliest creature. His voice was a sharp whisper, the kind that made everyone else stop and listen. Name's Hayes, he replied, meeting the Zarkian's glare without hesitation. And yeah, I took a bite and I'm still here. The Zarkian officer's gaze flickered, intrigued. The Confederation is interested in your biology, Corporal Hayes. This adaptability of yours could have strategic benefits. Have you considered what it might mean for our alliance? Alliance, huh? Hayes replied, glancing at Rex. Look, I don't mind sharing a few tricks, but I'm not some lab rat. My biology's my own business. The Zarkian's eyes narrowed, and his lips curled in a humorless smile. Of course. But your resilience speaks volumes, Corporal. If humans can shrug off Zarkian venom, it suggests that your species may hold unpredictable potential. Hayes grinned. Well, humans are full of surprises. Just make sure you don't end up on the wrong side of one. Rax cleared his throat, breaking the tension. Hayes, we're not suggesting anything invasive. But perhaps you'd agree to let Dr. Firen and his team conduct some supervised studies. Strictly observational. Hayes thought for a moment. As long as I get my pick of the rations, sure. Got a thing for the spicy stuff. Dr. Firen nodded eagerly, then glanced at the screen showing Hayes' immune response to the venom. His eyebrows shot up. Corporal, look at this. Your heart rate and energy levels are surging almost as if the venom is giving you a boost. Hayes frowned, looking at the monitor. His vitals had spiked, showing increased blood flow and faster cell regeneration. He felt oddly alert, almost as if his body were operating at double speed. Huh, so the venom's not just hanging around. It's supercharging me. The Zarkian officer watched him, a glint of caution in his eyes. It's remarkable but you should exercise caution. Zarki and Venom can have unpredictable effects, even on the resistant. Hayes gave a mocking salute. Thanks for the heads up, but I think I can handle a little Venom boost. But that night, as he lay in his quarters, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. His heart thumped in his chest with an almost unnatural rhythm, each beat sending a rush of energy through his body. He tried to sleep, but his body felt restless, like every cell was wide awake, ready for action. He wondered if the Zarkian officer was right. Maybe the venom had a side effect, something his body wasn't prepared for. The next morning, Rax and Firen met him in the training bay, where Hayes had been pounding through the simulation exercises with unexpected vigor. Firen, carrying his ever-present data pad, checked Hayes' vitals again his expression a mixture of fascination and concern. Corporal, you're operating at nearly twice the efficiency of any human baseline. This kind of stamina, it's unnatural. Hayes shrugged, panting as he lowered the weight he'd been pressing. Just feels like an extra dose of coffee, Doc. Don't tell me you're scared of a little power surge. Commander Rax, however, seemed less than convinced. Hayes, this could become dangerous. If the venom's lingering effects escalate, we might not know how to reverse them. Your body's response might be enhancing now, but it could take a toll. Hayes smirked, brushing off the caution. Commander, I appreciate the worry, but I'm built for endurance. The venom's just added a little zing to my step. Suddenly, a voice crackled over the intercom, blaring through the training bay. Commander Rex, we've detected an intruder ship on the outer rim of our patrol area. Unknown origin, approaching fast. Rax stiffened. Prepare the defense grid. Hayes, report to Station B. Wait, actually. Head to the bridge. I want you close by in case we need an unconventional approach. Roger that, sir. Hayes grabbed his equipment, a new spring in his step as he bolted towards the bridge the adrenaline and venom. Fueled energy coursed through him, making him feel almost invincible. As the crew scrambled to their stations, Hayes took a position next to Rax, watching the screen as an alien vessel approached. 
A cold silence filled the bridge. Commander Rax leaned in. Corporal, if this venom really is boosting your abilities, you may be the edge we need. Think you're up for a little hands. On. Hayes grinned, cracking his knuckles. Commander, I was born ready. Prepare to engage, Commander Rax commanded. The bridge hummed with activity as the crew monitored the approaching vessel, a dark silhouette against the stars. Hayes felt the tension rising in the air, igniting the adrenaline already surging through him. He adjusted his gear, mentally preparing for whatever was to come. The Zarkian vessel was unlike anything he'd faced before. It loomed ominously, a stark reminder of the dangers lurking in the galaxy. But the lingering venom in his system fueled a fierce confidence. Corporal, I want you to be ready for anything, Rex said, his sharp gaze fixed on the monitor. We don't know their intentions yet, but they're moving too fast to be friendly. Got it, Commander. I'll handle whatever they throw at us, Hayes replied, trying to match Rax's calm demeanor, though his heart raced with anticipation. Status report from Tactical, Rax commanded. Shields at full power. Weapons primed, a technician replied. They're closing in on our coordinates. Targeting systems are locked. Keep us on alert, Rax ordered. Corporal, you're with me on the outer deck. We'll intercept them before they reach the core. Hayes nodded, following Rex as they moved to the outer deck where the view of the approaching ship was clearer. Bark the alien vessel's hull glimmered with a metallic sheen, an unsettling presence that seemed to absorb the light around it. What's the play, Commander? Hayes asked, squinting at the screen. Wait until they initiate contact. We need to know if they're armed before we fire first, Rax replied. But if it looks hostile, then it's game on, Hayes finished, a grin spreading across his face. I'll handle the heavy lifting. The air crackled with tension as the seconds stretched into an eternity. Suddenly, alarms blared and the ship shook violently. The alien vessel had opened fire, a barrage of energy bolts arcing towards them. Brace for impact, Rack shouted. Hayes gripped the railing, feeling the vibrations through the deck as energy beams struck the ship's shields. The screens flickered, showing damage reports flashing red. Shields holding at 60%. Someone shouted. Return fire, Rex commanded. Deploy countermeasures and prepare to board. On it, the tactical officer replied, hands flying across the controls. Hayes felt a surge of excitement. The venom coursing through him intensified, sharpening his senses and quickening his reflexes. He was ready for this. As the ship rocked again, he steadied himself, adrenaline heightening his focus. Deploy boarding pods, Rax ordered. The hatch slid open, and Hayes jumped into the boarding pod. He was joined by a squad of Zarkian soldiers, each armored and ready for combat. Stick together and follow my lead he instructed. As the pod launched towards the enemy ship, Hayes felt the familiar rush of combat excitement. The air was thick with tension as they approached the alien vessel, its hull dark and imposing. The pod connected with a soft thud, and the hatch blew open. Doe! Hayes shouted, bursting out into the enemy's airlock. He charged forward, blasters raised, the Zarkian soldiers following closely behind. The interior of the alien ship was dimly lit, with strange pulsating lights lining the walls. Hayes immediately noticed movement ahead, two aliens in armor, their weapons aimed at the door. They hadn't expected company. Cover me! Hayes yelled, ducking behind a console as the Zarkian opened fire. Bolts of energy lit up the room, illuminating the aliens' startled faces. Suppressing fire! One Zarkian soldier called out, unleashing a hail of shots that forced the enemy to take cover. Hayes, flank them, Rax commanded, his voice cutting through the chaos. On it, Hayes sprang into action, feeling the venom fuel his movements as he sprinted around the side, 
dodging incoming fire with surprising agility. He leaped over a low barrier, landing behind one of the enemy aliens. Before the creature could react, Hayes tackled it to the ground, wrestling the weapon away and delivering a quick jab that knocked it out. The surge of energy made him feel unstoppable. He barely had time to catch his breath before another enemy appeared, charging toward him with a fierce snarl. Hayes didn't hesitate. He kicked the alien's legs out from under it, sending it sprawling to the ground. As it scrambled to regain its footing, he pressed his boot against its throat, keeping it pinned. Not so tough now. Are ya? He sneered, surveying the scene. The Zarkian soldiers were holding their own, but the tide was turning against the enemy. Push forward, Rack shouted, rallying the troops. We need to take control of the command center. Hayes moved with purpose, adrenaline coursing through him, eyes darting as he engaged in the fray. The Zarkians fought fiercely, but Hayes' unpredictable human instincts gave him an edge. He maneuvered through the chaos, his body moving fluidly as if guided by an unseen force. Suddenly, an explosion rocked the corridor, sending debris flying. Hayes dove for cover, rolling behind a pillar just in time. Shouting filled the air, mingled with the sounds of blaster fire and the crackling of energy shields. Corporal! Status report! Rax yelled, scanning the area for Hayes. Still in the fight, he called back, emerging from his cover. Rax nodded. Let's finish this. As the battle intensified, Hayes felt a powerful surge of energy surging through him. The venom was amplifying his every movement, igniting a fierce determination that pushed him forward. He had never felt more alive, more capable. With one final charge, Hayes sprinted toward the command center, flanked by Zarkian soldiers. They broke through the door, finding themselves in a vast control room filled with blinking consoles and frantic aliens. Take control, Rax ordered, blasting at an enemy soldier trying to escape. Hayes leaped into action, ducking behind a console and firing at the remaining guards. The room erupted in chaos, blaster bolts flying in all directions. But Hayes was in his element, feeling like he could take on the world. He advanced with a combination of skill and instinct, moving quickly, exploiting weaknesses. In a final push, he tackled an alien captain, wrestling for control of the weapon. With a swift twist, he disarmed the creature and delivered a powerful punch that knocked it out. Area secure, Hayes shouted. Panting, but exhilarated, he surveyed the room, watching as the Zarkian soldiers apprehended the remaining foes. Rax stood beside him, a rare grin breaking across his face. Well done, Corporal. You've proven that humans are more than just adaptable. You're formidable. Guess I've got a few tricks up my sleeve, Hayes replied, breathing heavily. Just don't expect me to go easy on the next alien that bites me. Rax chuckled, nodding. Your unique biology might just change the course of our battles. We'll need to analyze this. As the crew regrouped and began to assess the situation, Hayes felt a rush of pride. He had not only survived, he had thrived. The venom had pushed him to a level he never thought possible, and as he looked around at his fellow soldiers, he realized he wasn't just fighting for survival, he was part of something greater. And as for the Zarkians, they were beginning to understand that the most formidable aspect of humanity wasn't just its resilience, it was its unyielding spirit, the refusal to back down in the face of danger. Hayes had shown them that humans could stand tall against the odds, ready to adapt, ready to fight, and ready to win. With newfound respect and camaraderie, the crew began planning their next steps, and Hayes couldn't help but grin. Whatever came next, he was ready to face it. Head. On. Venom and all. Now, about those rations he started his laughter echoing through the command center as the team celebrated their victory. The sound of humor and hope filled the air, reminding them all that together, they could overcome anything. 